I had been living for some time now with very high hopes that we were going to do something about our uncompetitive corporate tax rate. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. I've also been really excited that we were going to see you know, real change in the way we thought about upskilling people and that we'd get some real direction around vocational training and so forth. I don't think that's going to come either. So rather than let that sense of frustration make me beat my head against a brick wall, I want companies now to pivot themselves 180 degrees to get out of our inward focus, our focus on our Australian domestic markets and kidding ourselves that it's ever going to be big enough for sustainable growth and really start to have a solid crack at overseas markets and to think about outbound investment rather than being a taker of inbound investment. I'd like all Australian companies, when they're thinking about their growth options and they're looking at the Australian market, to explicitly pause and say, OK, that's great, but how could this be commercialised internationally? What would it take? What would it look like? Have we got anything here that really is distinctive? Because in any way, that is a risk management issue. Because if we do something that we think is going to play well in the local market, and it isn't distinctive globally, let me tell you, Amazon or some other global player is going to turn up and do it better than you anyway and destroy that domestic market. So to future-proof your domestic customers, you need to have offerings that are internationally competitive. So why not just turn that 180 degrees and have a look over and see what are the things that we might be able to build that are world-beating.